Hi, and welcome back to Pittman's Pumpkin Patch, Pittman's Garden Patch. It's August 19th, 2015, and um, I'm inside uh, one of my pumpkin caves, I guess you could call it. Uh, one of my uh, concoctions to keep the squash bugs and vine borers and cucumber beetles out as much as possible. And um, here is, is I'm looking at, of course, a female pumpkin flower. That is the uh, stigma that you're looking at in there. And all of those parts down there need to be pollinated in order for there to be a chance that this fruit will set. And um, this is the uh, Halden variety of pumpkin. And um, I just wanted to show you this because this is the first one that uh, bloomed. Uh, fortunately, no others have uh, aborted themselves as, as, as is usually the case with pumpkin flowers. So I was very fortunate that the first one that showed up on the vine is actually uh, blossomed. And um, I knew this was going to happen because the, the day before the uh, petals turned yellow and this thing really swelled up. Uh, the petals did. And uh, so I knew it was going to pollinate. And last night uh, I checked the weather forecast and they said there was a good possibility it was going to rain. So I came out here and put gallon sized Ziploc bags over the uh, flowers, both the male and males and the female, so that uh, if it did rain, uh, the pollen wouldn't get washed away and, and be less effective. So um, we didn't get any rain, but I was prepared. Anyways, hopefully this will work. Uh, I'm gonna hand pollinate this flower. I only had two males that showed up this morning at the same time the female, but two is plenty. I, I would like more. Here is the, uh, let me show you uh, maybe a better background right here. Here is the male flower. I've already pulled off the petals and you can see all that pollen on there. And okay, this is the uh, stamen, of course, and all you're going to do is just paint brush uh, the pollen onto the female and um, you know there you go now if this was out in the open some people would would cover the female after they hand pollen they would cover the female back up with a, a ziploc bag or a stocking to keep bees out of it because you know bees are carrying pollen from other plants and everything and they don't want to, if you don't want cross pollination say a zucchini or uh, with a pumpkin then you would cover your uh, female back up after you hand pollinated it but being in the, being in this enclosure here I don't have to worry about that so I'm gonna go ahead and sorry got a lot of big pumpkin leaves in the way here so just one second <laughs> this thing is really the leaves are really huge like I said all you gotta do is just come right on top down here and just start brushing very gently you don't have to be going there again because you don't want to damage anything okay and you just go all around and get all that pollen on it now I'm gonna do a little bit more off camera but I uh, just wanted to give you the basics of that and then usually three to five days two to three five days you will know whether it it was successful sometimes it takes a little bit longer um, but I want to show you the female fruit underneath see that right down there that is the uh, baby pumpkin and uh, hopefully everything will take and I also have my tomato blossom set spray uh, right here to use on this as well okay so, from Pittman's Pumpkin Patch, Pittman's Garden Patch, thanks for watching. Any comments or questions, post them below. Bye.